There he's coming. Angry little habit. Good morning. Welcome to another video. As you can see by the the short gremlin down the back, I've got Philip Scroggy out in the boat with me today. We're gonna to do yeah, we're gonna do a bit of trout fishing up on the lower lock iron, testing out some uh, some new equipment. Um, so yeah, moving into quick shallow bay. Um, the reason being is where I caught the the trout last year. I know very little about trout on the lock, next to nothing. So it's gonna be a complete learning curve today. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we get a few. Yeah. Oh. All right, first cast. Really nice shallow bay. It's only about four foot deep. Very weedy. Starting off with uh, one of the new lures from Savage Gear, the stickle bait twitch. Um, if anybody has seen any of the the intro stuff from uh, from Savage Gear on YouTube, this uh, this is dynamite. This little lure really is, and I haven't used it yet. Or the, the cast you've just seen. But the action on it seems to be very, very good. It has a built-in tungsten weight into the tail of it as well, so it casts an absolute mile. So let's see if the trout like it. Go fill up with this monster on the is it L core baits I think they're called aren't they? Yeah. That's a big fish, surely. <laughs> No. Okay. Wrong species. But that's why I've got a seven kilo it's very fine small wire trace on. The off chance of running into one of these guys. Right. So we've been casting for well for quite a while now. Um, we've had a few pike, which we're obviously trying not to catch. So we're going to do a bit of trolling. Um, going to troll with this. It's uh, stickle bait, stickle bait twitch. One of the new lures from Savage Gear. Um, as I said earlier, with the other one, there is a there's a tungsten weight built into the tail of it. Um, going to troll it with a long line, so it should get down. Well, well I'm not even really sure. Four or five, six foot. Um, I'm going to give that a rattle. See how we go. Um, outfit I'm using is the one I've been using all day. This uh, SG2 7 foot 3, 3 to 10 gram with the new Akuma ATX reel. Um, I've got it loaded up with 10 pound mono. Now, which I don't use mono very often, um, and the only reason I've got mono on was because I, I didn't have any braid in the house when I was setting it up last night and just, just decided to put some on. Um, yeah, so we'll give it a go. We have uh, we've covered an awful lot of water already, and uh, as I said, no trout yet, but uh, we'll keep going and. Uh, We'll see if we can get something. So I actually thought I'd hook the bottom, but it's not. It's a fish, and if that's a trout, mate, that's a, it's the biggest trout in the lake. That's a, I think that's a pike. That was that big thing I showed you. On a five centimeter stickle bait twitch. It's hard to tell because because of the but it feels heavy like I 
There's a fair bit of weight to this. If this is tried like we're, we're in trouble, you know. Just sitting at the bottom. Yeah. I'm up the front. I'm glad I took that uh, seven pound liter off now. Fish. It is definitely a fish. I can feel its head shakes. That's a, I'm pretty confident that a good fish. It has to be. If it's not like it's a, that's the double figure brownie. No, it's just a big dead weight. I don't even think it even knows it's half hooked. Nah, if it was a trout, like a trout would be going mental, wouldn't it? I've seen the boat. Uh, I think so, I don't even think it's that big. That's a trout. Like it? Yeah. It's a big brown email. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my. There's an extendable pole on that. <laughs> oh, oh no 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 no! I right, get the net then. Right, I'm gonna walk back. Get there! Get there! Get there! Get there. <laughs> Did you see that? Whoa! What a wow! Man. Look at that thing! What a machine! Well done! <laughs> Don't let it jump out. Right. Right. As you can see, uh, persistence paid off. Trolling the the new stickle bait lure from Savage Gear and a new PB. <laughs> now we've had it back in the net, so it's been recovering. So it's back. It's full of beans again. Come back closer. Oh. So there we go, a brand new PB, lock iron, and the first fish on the on the stickle bait, twitch lure for me. So we're going to get a quick measurement, a quick weight, and we'll get it back, all catch and release. One, <laughs> one last look, 65 centimeters, new PB, and we'll get it back. Well, yeah, there you have it. New PB. Uh, Philip hasn't had anything. <laughs> um, yeah, just trolling. Basically, we were done quite a bit of casting earlier on, but uh, the only thing we were getting really was pike, which is obviously not what we want. Pike are sort of in the middle of spawn at the minute. We're trying not to trying not to catch them. Uh, trolling around about two and a half mile hour. I don't really know if that's right. <laughs> we're just sort of winging it. So with the fact that we got that, well, you've seen how excited we were when it happened. Um, <laughs> over the moon. Uh, yeah, so just trolling two rods. Want to see if we can get another one before uh, before the end of the day. Um, but yeah, the boat's a bit of a mess now. The whole panic. Got that fish in the net and <laughs> just all hell broke loose, to be honest. But yeah, pleased.
Okay, and that's a wrap. Uh, nice feeling whenever you, you set a target of, uh, of going out and getting a, a particular type of fish, and, which is obviously trout. And uh, yeah, a real, real buzz. Um, both me and Scroggy were, were quite excited, and he doesn't get excited about anything, so it sort of shows you just how good that was. Um, but yeah, enjoyed the day. Hope you did too. So, uh, say bye, Philip. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys.